Well, welcome back. This is Sammy Chimona Hihi Alayubi from the Eagle One Development Team. Uh, this is our 20-second crash course video, and we're going to go over a little bit more advanced work with uh, using soft and hard edges, these uh, soft, hard normals that we're going to be putting in here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's up the grid size. We're going to make this uh, 16 by 32. And actually, I'm going to, I like to use gray as I work on new stuff, and then we can go ahead and apply the material once we figure it out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start with a block. That's uh, fine. I don't really like to use uh, blocks that much, but for right now, since we're shaping something uh, and we're going to delete the faces we don't need, I, I can go ahead and start with this for right now. Just keep in mind, we got to continue to use a workflow to try to make everything in quads. And that's actually going to be very important. Um, the idea of keeping everything in quads as we create this is going to be something that does require a little bit of knowledge. So if your basics aren't really mastered, this might seem a little difficult for you. All right, um, I'm going to create here uh, something that I think is really going to show up. Uh, just to give you an example of what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these and I'm going to Alt-Shift, right-click this, because I'd like to create something like this. Now, this looks pretty good. Like Most people could leave this, uh, but remember we talked about taking advantage of soft uh, normals, and, and this one does have some interesting angles that we've got to work with. Okay, um, so uh, another thing that I want to do is um, I'm actually up here. I'm going to go ahead and press V. I'm going to pull this up and uh, we're going to go ahead and try our best uh, to make this uh, something that looks uh, uh, like it would fit, but uh, it's not something that necessarily stands out too much. And there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some uh, face cuts. So I'm actually just going to um, go ahead. I'm going to double click uh, this. Uh, there's some uh, parts of this I don't want, so press uh, Control H, and let's go ahead and get rid of them right now. I don't need this, and I don't need that face, uh, so let's delete them, and uh, we're only keeping the faces that we need to see. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select these faces uh, by double-clicking them. I'm going to create some broad cuts, change the grid size to 2, Shift X, and I'm going to basically create a cut up in this direction, okay, and, I, and I'm setting this up to have all of our normals ready to go. Now I'm also going to cross hatch it. Okay, now this cross hatch here is going to allow us when we do create our soft normals uh, to be able to come up with a way for the engine to calculate everything around it. Uh, so let me just go ahead and make sure I cross hatch that. And then let me just do one more, pull it up. And now we have the edges that we need cut. Okay, I do need some uh, edges cut uh, on this side all the way up here, as well as this side. So we're going to go ahead and select those faces, Shift X. Let's make that cut. And then for this final cut right here, I want to follow along this edge line. I want to try my best. So I'm going to actually use the cut tool. So press the face, press C. Now come on up here manually making that cut. This is uh, one of the few times that I like to use a cut tool uh, to be able to keep that two unit uh, edge line. Okay, then come on up here and uh, let's uh, finish this out with uh, two more cuts at the top. All right, sorry, sometimes every once in a while we have to reset it, make sure it's on both sides. Now go ahead, press enter. And I've got here something that looks pretty complicated. Now, uh, all I need to do, okay, is I'm going to click on an edge, and I'm going to hold on another edge and double-click it, and it should try to capture all those edges on the same path. Okay, so let's double-click here, <clears throat> double-click here, double-click here, and uh, almost, I think all of it has been filled out. All right, so far so good. And actually... Let's see here. Ooh, actually, I don't need that cut down there. I'm going to need that up here, which is fine. So I'm just going to remerge these faces because I don't need that. I messed up my cut. Make that cut up here. Shift X. Two units. There we go. And now, if I double click the edges, that's what I wanted to see. All those edges are going to line up perfectly. And we can go ahead and turn these into soft normals. So over here, soft normals. And now I've given myself something that has all of the edges smoothed out. Okay? And that's because I've told it to calculate exactly where I want it to be smoothed out and where not to be smoothed out. Uh, I've created this. Now this I could probably actually convert back to a hard normal since that's not actually doing any of those calculations. Uh, but I have created something that is also divided up into quads. 
okay and that having quads the engine is going to be much much happier uh, i'm not done though uh, i can uh, add a little bit more to this uh one thing that i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and uh, make a copy and uh, we'll make sure we up the grid size back to eight uh, let's pull this over to this side and uh, i'm gonna do a, a nice little uh, technique here uh, that's gonna help us uh, with uh, just adding a little bit more to this uh, let's add, uh, let's see here, go ahead and press shift B. Let's create a brand new one. Okay. Now, even though I'm making this out of blocks, I'm going to show you a fun little move here. Uh, I'm only going to select the faces that I want. Okay. So select these two faces, press control I, these are the only ones that are being shown and it's going to select every other face okay, except for the faces that you had selected. So control I is a one and press delete. Right now it's only got the faces that I want and I've quickly made two quads. So I'm just going to go ahead, let's select this, control out, right click. Uh, perfect. Let's uh, move this down and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to play with the grid here because I'm actually trying to make these bricks line up here on the side. Uh, all right, let's shift right click, press control G and uh, let's go ahead, let's uh, come over and we are going to have to make it a smaller grid as we try to fit that brick texture onto there. So right there, I think would be good. Maybe it's gonna take two bricks. There we go, that's fine. X out, now we have something that looks pretty solid. Okay, we're not done yet though. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select these faces. Shift X, let's turn the grid size down to two to make sure that we're cutting up in, in segments of two. Okay, same with this one. Okay, and if I have to go ahead, I can uh, create this cut and then select the edge, press T, tab, and then I can go ahead and make sure that it's lined up, okay? It's about two apart. Select this edge, press J. Okay, now I've given myself a, a smooth edge right here. And the final thing is if I, I really wanna have this smooth edge onto the wall, yeah, I'm gonna have to make this wall a part of the same mesh as this one. Okay, so uh, one way that I can do that is uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this wall I'm going to press that shift X and I'm going to go back to grid size of eight. I'm going to keep everything on the grid. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make these cuts right here. Oops. Make, select this shift X. Okay. Make that cut. Okay. And that's because I don't need this right now. Uh, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to select this edge, hold down T, press tab to move it back to our world instead of a local grid hold down shift, and I'm going to pull this back up. Now this face is off, so I'm going to select this face, uh, alt shift, right click over here. It's going to line it back up. And the final thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead, I'm going to make that final cut here for our soft edge. There we go. Okay, make one cut over here. Okay, and then I might uh, select this edge, and then I'm going to go ahead, select soft normal, and now it looks like that wall and this edge are normalized. Okay, if I don't do that, if I select hard, notice how it looks sharp. Select that, soft, much nicer on the inside. All right, uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, we can quickly, quickly actually uh, make this same exact thing on this side. So if you really want, okay, go ahead and... Uh, the best thing really to do is to instance this. So select it, make it an instance. Okay, so that way we can copy it over. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Just quickly drag it in its place. And then uh, with this instance, we're just going to rotate it up. We change the grid back to 8. Try to keep everything on the grid. Okay, and now I have something that I can use over and over again. All right, uh, if I wanted to copy this and do the same thing to this side, okay, just go ahead, let's take it, rotate it. Okay, I can go ahead, I can actually grab one of the edges and, and, and just shorten it. And let's move it right here, put it in its place. Let's go ahead, adjust the size. I have texture lock on, so it's keeping the scales nice and ready. And then just go ahead, move this into its spot. It's uh, conflicting, that's fine. Hide it by H. Okay, select these faces, Shift X. Make those cuts real quick. Sometimes you have to reselect the face because the uh, plane gets messed up. Delete it, press U. Okay, and then now I can go ahead and adjust it as such.
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this advanced tutorial on smooth and soft normals. I'll see you guys next time on our Crash Course videos.